Is helium mining still worth it? In this video, we're going to cover the impact of the tokenomics and the halvings on your earnings. To begin, the tokenomics are split into three parts. The first part is the maximum supply, which is capped at 223 million HNT tokens. Mining is a 5 million tokens per month, and the first halving is in the 1st of August 2021, and it occurs every two years. The second is the data credits and the burn and mint economics equilibrium. The data credits are a USD pegged utility token used to pay all the transaction costs on the Helium network. The burn and mint equilibrium is the basis of the amount of data credits produced by burning HNT will move up and down based on the USD price of HNT as reported by the HNT oracles. Third is the net emissions. Net emissions are required so the protocol can reward hotspots and consensus group members forever. By using net emissions, the blockchain could keep track of how many data credits were burnt and add that amount to the number of HNT to be minted in that epoch. So the first part was to explain the structure of the tokenomics of the Helium token. Now, people will say that is the halving and the capping is enough? Of course not. We need to have a value first built on the helium and this what brings me to this subject which is the internet of things and the value of the helium network is correlated with this as well as you know the bitcoin as an altcoin but now what's the internet of things we have explained what it is doing all that stuff in other videos but the whole point is helium network is a proof of coverage and why I think Helium is a special project, just like MXC, they are building a network that is needed by Internet of Things, it's needed by governments, it's needed by cities, it needs, it's needed by big companies like Google, Amazon, HP, Samsung, Sony. So they need the network. So all these companies, cities, they need the network. So Helium and MXC and others will provide this network and they're not replacing any network because there's no network that exists that serves IOTs. And that's why I believe that the value of the Helium networks is really important. So now how much share they will have in the market, that will be determined by how fast they deliver, how secured their, their network is, how reliable, and the area that they cover. The more area that means the more you would be able to get more IOTs and more companies to subscribe to your uh, network and thus pay you for that service. That's simple as it is. So the more share market share they get, obviously the value will increase. Just, you know, business 101, right? So now let's see the performance of the Helium network and see if it's still worth mining. So if we come here, First of all, these are very impressive numbers that it's been bought from people in 99 countries in 9,377 cities and the hotspots deployed 85,000. And you can see the coverage, it's not bad. And we're expecting 220 to 240,000 hotspots by the end of this year. So three times this coverage, that means we, we could see a good network that will be tempting for IOTs to subscribe to. And if that happens, that means the value of the token can increase because of the service we're providing, which is the proof of coverage. The more coverage we have, the more rewards we can get. Now, to address some of the things, is it worth it for you to come in? Well, this question, it depends on where you live. So if you live in areas that are not covered, that means you more likely to, uh, yes, it, it's a, a better place. If you go to Manhattan, 
and this is covered in another video so I'm not gonna be so brief about it but if you uh, if you heard of the hip 17 and hip 15 they address this issue that inside one hex we prefer to have four hotspots and less to cover this area because now it's congested and we know Manhattan right it's a very busy city very small very tight so there are 24 hotspots covering this one hex that's not healthy so if you live here most likely you're not going to earn much so you're going to see the earnings are very low 2 0 0.56 2.456 8.6 8.61 it's hurts right but you're going to see also that there's somebody making 44 so what's happening here what's happening is he's, he has elevation or he has installed a big antenna and tried to connect to other networks further away from the downtown area so that's one thing so that the hip 15 and hip 17 are saying we need only four the more it's gonna punish everyone kind of thing so this is pushing people to move out from this hex and we have indi individuals and we have companies so we have companies like Emirate we have companies like iHub uh, it's covered in another video but the point is they give you they lease you a free hotspot in exchange for 20% or something like that. Then, uh, and they were the ones who came to the downtown areas uh, last year. So what this system will do, the HIP 15 and HIP 17, will push these guys to think about, to move, migrate. It makes total sense because if you're making six or eight, that's, that's not enough money for them. So they need to migrate there or try to find another lease with someone else in areas that are less congested so they can earn money so that's why although we have 160,000 coming into the network these existing hotspots need to relocate and therefore it will impact on the project positively now if you get a consider uh, coming into this same hex and deploy yours if you're gonna just follow the same you know regular way of doing it then most likely it's not going to be feasible for you unless you uh, go elevation and install you know big antenna and try to connect with other networks and earn like this guy 44 if it's still worth it it is worth it depending on your location depending on the strategy you're going to follow depending on you know uh, this the hot spot that you are um, or the location that you're in to be exact and you can this you can do it in through many uh, the vision uh, application there's a video that I did on how to do it yourself and see if it's feasible or not but as you can see there are so many areas still not covered so yes it is it is very very helpful for you um, or, or feasible sorry for you to, to come into the network because there's still a lot of you know vacant spots or vacant areas that needs to be covered but what I can see is, in terms of the value, so we have sold data credits worth of 1.216 million worth of credits. So that's that's pretty good. That's a, a good indicator that there are IOTs already jumping into the network. And we can see the circ circulating supply is 94 million. And I'm not gonna talk about this much here, but we're supposed to do the halving once we reach, you know, most likely the 120 so I think they might postpone the having on the first but this is not the uh, the subject of this um, video so the performance is doing well the coverage is performing well and therefore all of this can have impact on the value of the network which is by having the IOTs getting subscribed to the helium network and thus we might see an effect on, on the Oracle price, which is the HNT price. So I know at this point the, the the helium is correlated with the Bitcoin. And that makes sense because all these new projects are coming. They are correlated to Bitcoin. But each project that can prove itself and start performing, then we will see you know the breakup, a slight breakup, because now the helium is just working on its own that's performing it's getting earnings they're selling so 
it will not be correlated for the rest of its life as long as things progress in the same pace and uh, the same success. So uh, that's regarding the performance of and the statistics of helium. So here we'll, we'll see and you know a kind of uh, look at the performance here. So to be a validator you need to have at least or not at least it's 10,000 HNT tokens which is around $120,000. Now not a lot of people have that. Some do but not a lot. So for you you can either start your own validator or you join a pool of people that have at least 100 HNT and you get you know you stake it inside that pool and you get rewarded as a passive income. Now a lot of people love this idea so there are so many different options to choose from and that's not what we're going to cover here. We're going to just see how this will impact the evaluation of the token. So we can see here that the staked validators that's 1797 and this is increases by the day. The total HNT staked is 17.97 million HNT token worth 218 million and 335,000. The, num the percentage supply staked is close to 20%. Why is this important? Because the more staked HNT, the more will impact on the HNT token. It's a direct relationship. So if we can get this number to 50%, we will see increase in the price of the token, or at least stability. It will mo be more stable. So the more 60%, the more stable because there's no cell circulation there's no people dumping the HNT token because people would, would rather stake it get that passive income get the price of the token to increase so if it's $12 in a year if it goes to 25 or 30 or 35 that means they will earn double or triple just for the same amount of tokens that they have um, generated from the stake so this is really important now again it all depends on the percentage supply staked. Seeing the community and how much they believe in this network, I would see, I, I can see this growing more and more. Now, a lot of people don't think that this percentage is important. It does. If you guys know Cardano, the ADA token, it's not heavily affected with all the bad news. So they're late in their projects. They're not affected. Uh, they're 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 not doing as as promised. They're not affected as much. Why? Because 71% of the token holders are staking it. They're not dumping it. They're not, they, do, they believe in the project so much that they don't care. They know it will come sooner or later. And therefore, it is not affected by the market price. It does get an effect, but not as much as it should. Because their performance is not as what they promised. Therefore, yes, the percentage will make your token price more stable. So this is a good indicator that, first of all, the, the, the communities are doing a great job in protecting the network. So all of this, if you add it together, it just makes sense that this token, first of all, the performance of the network, so we care about the network, right? Because we care about the IOTs to come in. And we have seen that there already been some sales and data credits being sold. That's one thing. And now we have, you know, the staking and people, you know, the percentage at 20% while the validators, I think it's just one week old. So it will, it will sooner or later have good impact. I would, I would come back to this after one month and see what's the percentage staked. And therefore, I don't see any reason why this cannot grow more and more and why you cannot, uh, uh, if you are still thinking about it, I think there's a still a good chance for you to earn money. Again, it's all about the strategic way of where you locate your hotspot. And the more you do your studies, you can try a Helium Vision uh, to see how it works. You can check my other videos, do it yourself, and all these videos to see if your location will perform better. As for now, and I think you agree with me that there is a good chance for you to start mining helium now or even after a few months there's still a lot of areas to cover because that's all you need is if you connect to a network and you cover area 
that's the reward you will be getting is through that job specific job and if you guys have any questions uh, then just put them in the comment uh, and we'll see you on the next video